So when writing the answer for the union of sets X and Y, we simply write the elements found in X and found in Y. So let's start with the elements found in X. We have the elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the elements found on set X. To complete the union of X and Y, we simply add the elements found on set Y, which are 2, 4, 6, and an 8. And we close it with a close brace. Supposedly, this is already the answer. But there is one very important concept in writing sets that we always need to consider. That is, there should be no duplication of elements. In short, we are going to examine the elements found in the union of sets X and Y and remove those elements that are duplicated. So we have two, uh, two twos, okay, or two elements which are in two. So we are going to delete the second element. We also have two elements four. So we are going to remove the second four. Since there are no more duplications, we could just simply place them side by side. And then we could say that the final answer in writing uh, in uh, the union of set X and set Y contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and then 8. So we are going to follow the same procedure in answering the remaining two questions. The next question or the next concern is the union of sets Y and Z. Set Y is already in roster form, so it's very easy to determine what are the elements. However, set Z is in the set builder form. So for us to make, uh, to have an easier step in answering the union of sets Y and Z, let us write set Z in the roster form. So we have here, set Z containing the elements or the prime numbers less than 10. The prime numbers less than 10 are presented in the previous video and you could just review it there. So we know that the elements found in set Z are two, three, five, and seven. Again, one is not a prime number. The, the smallest prime number, and it's also the, ev the only even prime number, which is 2. Since we all know the elements of set Z, let us now combine, or let us now answer the union of sets Y and Z. So it should contain the elements of Y, which are 2, 4, 6, and an 8, and the elements of set Z, which are two, three, five, and seven. Again, make sure that there should be no duplications. So we are going to remove any element that has been duplicated. You only have one element, which is two, written twice. So let us remove the second two. In short, the union of the uh, sets Y and Z contains the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 5, and 7. Presented in the previous video is the fact that you can just rearrange the elements found in a set. It doesn't matter or it disregards arrangements. In short, you could also write the answer for number 2 as a set containing two, three, four, five, six, 
7, and 8. If you want it to be arranged in descending order. Now, let's proceed to the last number, the union of set X and set Z. X already here, and Z is already given in number 2. So let's combine them. X, let us have the union of X and Z. So you have here the elements of X, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the elements of Z, 2, 3, 5, and then 7. And removing the duplicates, 2 and 3, the elements found in the union of X and Z are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 7. Before we end this demonstration of practice exercise A, what if we have, we are going to interchange number 3. Instead of X union Z, we will have Z union X. Will the answer be different from the answer of number 3? Let's try to answer. So it should contain the elements of Z, which are 2, 3, 5, sorry, 5, 7. And the elements of X, which are 1, 2, 3, 4. Removing duplicates, we will have, we will have to remove the 2 and the 3. In short, Okay, I will just remove this first so that I could write it here. In short, the elements containing the union of Z and X are 2, 3, 5, 7, 1, and 4. Please examine the answer for number 3 and the answer if we are going to interchange the two sets. If we're going to look at these two sets or two answers, they are just equal sets because they contain the same elements, such as 1 is here, 1 is also here, 2 are found in both, 3 are found in both, 4 found in both, 5 as well as 7. In short, when we are going to solve for the union of sets, it doesn't matter which set comes first, because we are still just going to combine all elements. So for number 1, if you have y, union x, it should have the same answer as the union of x and y. In number two, if you have the union of z and y, it should have the same answer as the y union z. Okay, so that is the uh, discussion for practice exercise A of module number three. See you in the next video. Hopefully you've learned something. Goodbye.